What a week it has been starting with three two-year-old races at Bathurst last Wednesday. This is Joe Tomo in action. The son of Roll with Joe caused a minor boil over, which was a welcome win for breeders and owners Anne and Peter O'Connor. Up on the outside, McLemore. Back to the inside, better jiggle, and here's Joe Tomo down the outside. It's McLemore hitting the lead. Joe Tomo out after it. McLemore, Joe Tomo, Joe Tomo levels up on the outside, and Joe's going to score. Joe Tomo for the O'Connors finishes here on a good note and wins the last second will go to McLemore. It was Penrith's Tab Carnival of Cups meeting last Thursday and was also the 50th edition of the Renshaw Cup. Match in Heaven swooped to take out the feature to beat Ultimate Art, who was having his 100th race start. Ultimate Art straightens up, gets the neck in front, coming again, courts in session. It's Ultimate Art, a neck in front. He's trying to stave off. Here's Match in Heaven when it's all over. Ultimate Art's just in front, diving Match in Heaven. This is near to a dead heat. A ding-dong Donnybrook over the line. Ultimate Arden on the outside match in heaven. There's zero between them. There were some close finishes at Wagga last Friday, including in the final race when Star Brutus proved too strong, giving him earnings of over $100,000. On the outside, coming strongly, Star Brutus and Kyla Stewart. Resounding's in front, has got nothing left. Resounding is still the leader. Have they got her? Yes, they have. In the middle, I reckon Star Brutus the stable mate. A photo between Resounding and Kyla Stewart. There was also racing at Tamworth on Friday, and some horses earned a ticket to Menangle. This included For the Better, which won a heat of the Country Menangle series. Midnight Montana runs home down the outside. It's For the Better in front over Derringer. Midnight Montana late, but For the Better. For the Better wins. It was certainly a memorable night for young driver Ashley Hart at Newcastle on Saturday. Ashley drove her first double, which was sealed with this win by Charming Major. Charming Major hits the lead, Casual River trying to fight back, it's Charming Major on top, Casual River fighting, Charming Major, Casual River, Charming Major, Casual River, Charming Major. Charming Major got there only by the barest of margins, but favourite punters can rejoice. It was the McCarthy show at Menangle last Saturday night with John and his sons Todd and Luke McCarthy winning six of the eight races. Luke drove a treble, which included the Group 3 Ranji Bill Stakes with the Piccadilly Princess. Tintinara's trying to get to the party, and on the outside is Miss Riviera Bell. A Piccadilly Princess gets the nose in front. Don't think twice is trying to lift, but a Piccadilly Princess is in front, close to home, tough effort. A Piccadilly Princess has won it, but it's don't think twice, Miss Riviera Bell. Miracle Mile winning driver Matt Rue made the trip to Goulburn from Bathurst worthwhile when driving a double thanks to this win by Roran last Sunday. On the inside, Topsy Grinner, Benicio coming, so too, Rock and Brushgrove and Roran. Here's a go to the last five stretches across the track. Here's the post, Roran. The day started off well for Brian Patelli at Maitland on Monday when his pacer Luke's Gift won the opening race with ease. Brian trained his first double at the meeting when My Ravana won later in the program. It's an absolute mile in front early in the straight at the 150, it's all Luke's Gift. It's out uh, about 50 metres in front and it's going to absolutely walk it. You haven't seen one win that easy in a while. Luke's Gift has won it in a canter by, gee, I reckon it's, it's hard to tell how far it's won by, probably 70 metres. It was Jim Douglas's birthday week and he celebrated in fine style at Menangle on Tuesday afternoon driving a double, which started with the pacer underworked. Jim is now four wins away from driving 700 winners in his career. Excite us in the city from a fair way back. Underworked, under a heavy drive, it's been under pressure a fair way, but with 50 metres to go, it's still three parts in front, gripping on and underworked. There was racing at Albury on Tuesday night and more heats of the Country Menangle series were held, including this heat, which was taken out by Annie's Desire. Annie's Desire's having a real look halfway down the lane. Spike Robin's in front, Annie's got it. Annie's Desire goes to Spike Robin. Spike Robin tries to fight back, but Annie, Annie's Desire got the job done. The odds on favourite has been bloused. And that was another edition of the week that was. Thanks for watching.